I right. live in New Zealand. Uh, you're right. <laughs> oh, I, right. I like New Zealand. Oh, you like it. Have you ever been? Yep. Yeah. Where did you go? Yes. Uh, which part of New Zealand? And northern part, of, northern part and southern part. Oh, so you've been all over. Yep. Yeah. And um, how how long did you go for? And about an um, a month. A month. Was it recently? No, no. And um, seven years ago. Seven years ago. Ah, oh, so quite yeah. a while then. Hmm. Uh, Yes. Okay. Right. Well, while we're waiting for everybody to turn up, uh, we'll just get you to introduce yourself. So, if you want to go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself for everybody? A pardon? Me? Yeah, please. My self introduction? Yeah. Um, my name is Kui. <laughs> this is yeah. not real real name, but um, I live in Japan and I worked for a um, civic servant. What's that? Civic servant. Okay. What What does it do? Oh, uh, I worked at city hall. Ah, uh, right. I see. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, next, uh, Selma. How are you? Selma, can you hear me? No, maybe not. Uh, Fernando, am I your only speaker? <laughs> Looks like that. Right? <laughs> Fernando, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself for everybody? Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Gustavo. I am from Mexico City. Okay. What What's your name? Gustavo. Gustavo. Ah, it says Fernando on the thing. So Gustavo. Okay. That's almost the same name as my brother. My brother is called Gustav. Mm. Very similar. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Uh, who else we got? Um, Cloud. Probably not there. Uh, can everybody make sure they're using headphones as well? Because somebody isn't. Okay, uh, Selma, can you hear me? Hi. Yep, do you want to introduce yourself for everybody? Okay, um, I'm Selma, and then... Okay, thank you. The... Ah, that's right. And this is Cloud. <laughs> Hello. Cloud. The one person who's not spoken yet. Can you hear us? <laughs> right. Well, I'll just tell you what the lesson is about whilst hopefully some more people should join the class in a moment. Or the ones that are in could be able to talk. Right, this is the title for the lesson we're doing. Did anybody attend any of the lesson, either lesson one or lesson two in this module? Um, 
No. The it's been about uh, constructing paragraphs, and also working to you know what the TOEFL tests are. Yes, TOEFL. Yes. Yeah, it's been um, like focusing on styles of writing that are common in those tests. Mm-hmm. So, so um, let me see. I have um, a worksheet that uh, we'll go through together, which will discuss this. So this is just um, the example sentence. So I'll just put on screen share for everybody. All right, where is it? All right. In a moment, it should be on screen share. Right. Can everybody see the screen share? Yeah. Yeah, can everybody? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Right. Um, Kiwi, do you want to start um, reading for us? We're just going to read this first paragraph. Is it big enough? Yeah, but um, there's. N- I can't see and no sentence on the first. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a big line, isn't there? I think that's meant to be there. Oh, then just a line? Yeah, I can see it as well, so. Oh, I right. Know, okay. I don't know why, but it is. It's try, it starts here. Oh, That's right, OK. Uh, since 1901, the Nobel Prize has been awarded annually to scientists, authors, scholars, and Peacemaker, and for outstanding accomplishment in sentence, literature, peace, and economics. Mm-hmm. Go on. Yeah, carry on, please. All right. The prize was first established in the world of Swedish scientist Alfred Nobel, who invented dynamite. Oh my gosh, whose face? <laughs> And in, in 1895, originally, the Nobel Prize was, was awarded for the excellent in five categories, physics, chemistry, literature, hmm? physiology. physiology, or medicine, a medicine yeah. piece. Today, yeah. the award have an expanded to a field such as economic and public health. Each hmm. no- Nobel winner receives a medal a personal diploma, and a cash award. The award cel- ceremony has become a true yep. international event as a recipient and a come from all over the world. In 2007, scientists from France and Germany won the Nobel Prize for the physics, while a British author was recognized for accomplishment in literature. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, Ma- 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 Marty? Uh, no, uh, I can't. I can uh, pronounce the word. It's not an English word. Uh, Marty uh, Atisali. Uh, uh, Marty Atisali uh, from Finland received a Nobel Prize and face <laughs> whose face? <laughs> <laughs> Nobel Pri- Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, right, Anna from Finland received the Nobel Prize, a Nobel Peace Prize in 2008. It is yeah. no wonder that many people consider the Nobel Prize to be the most pres- uh, prestigious award at a given yeah. for the, an intellectual achievement in the world. Yep, thank you very much. It's good. Um, so, do you have anybody new in the class yet or not? <laughs> Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, right. This is the example um, paragraph. So, what, um, Selma, if you could read. This is just summarizing uh, um, what should be in a, a a good paragraph and what was in the paragraph that Kiwi just read. So, Selma, if you can read this, please. 
after you have started your main point in the top stated. Center, oh, sorry. Yeah. After you have stated your main point in the topic center, you need to support it in the sentence that follow. The supporting sentences, the supporting sentences, can include the reasons, facts, and examples. Try to make your supporting sentences as a specific as possible. Supporting yeah. sentences that are uh, vague, you, vague, that are vague, yeah. or that merely repeat the point you made in the topic sentence are not effective. Okay, and if you can read just these two lines here, underneath where it says writing tip. Oh, so, writing tip. As a writer, it's your job to provide enough support to prove the point you made in your topic sentence. Remember to support your point with... Right, so what do you think it's going to say? You need examples? to support... Yeah, examples, what else? Uh, statistics. Examples, statistics. Anybody else got any ideas? Evidence. Yeah, evidence and summary. And but yeah. evidence, yeah, facts. Theories. Ah. Oh. Oh. Theories. An experience? Yeah, experience. Right, they're all good examples. I've got two more people. Do, uh, Ornella, can you hear us? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. And who's. The other guy, can you hear us? Yes. Logan. Yes. What's your name? Osama. Osama. All right. Okay, thank you. Right. Well, we're just. Well, we'll carry on then. If you um, can see the exact what it said here is basically what we've got. It says facts, reasons, and examples. So what we had plus we had some more as well. So um, let me see. Uh, um, you can see my screen still, can you? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, Salma, if you can just read this bit, please. Right, yes, so what part? Yes, analyzing paragraphs for support, look at the following two paragraphs, both being uh, with the same Begin. topic sentence, but only one de develops it with the mouth specific sport. Choose the paragraph that you think provides enough specific support, underline examples, and specific support. Yeah, good. Okay, so, um, sure, mate. Ornella, if you yeah. can read the first paragraph. Okay. And what, just so, and while she's reading, if everybody um, pays attention to any examples of specific support because that's what I'm going to ask you. So, Onela, if you can read the first one, please. Okay. A family trip to Costa Rica last summer it was very exciting. Every day we saw something new and different. One day we went hiking. Another day we took a rafting trip down the river. We saw lots of unusual plants and animals that we had never seen before. We did many things that we will never forget. Everyone agreed that this was the best trip we've ever taken. Okay, thank you very much. And this the second sentence, uh, the second paragraph, please. Um, uh, Gustavo. <coughs> okay. The second one, please. Paragraph two. Yeah. Our, our family trip to Costa Rica last summer was very exciting. We were there for two weeks, and not a day went by without something unusual happening. On the second day, a boa constrictor swam right in front of us 
while we were writing down the Rio Claro. Another day, spider monkeys threw bunches at us deep in the rainforest, hacking on the private trails in Concorvado National Park. We saw brilliant scarlet macaws and toucans with huge yellow bakes. Whenever we look at the picture from our tree, we all agree that it was the most exciting one we have ever taken. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so looking at those two paragraphs, which do you want to think? Which one do you think follows uh, this best? With the facts, the reasons, and the examples. Do you think paragraph one is better or paragraph two? Yeah. Paragraph one, I think, of do Costa Rica. Think, do you think paragraph one? Why do you think paragraph one? Because it has uh, the uh, linking word, like another, another day, and or no. Yeah. What? Well, uh, what does anybody else think? Yeah, what do other people think as well? Is it the second one? Do you think the second one? Why do you think the second one? Because you are giving more support, more details. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I cannot see the... Can you look it uh, up? What? This is paragraph one? Uh, the, oh, the example this thing. Is, Max Pizum's example. Yeah. Okay. Uh, examples, maybe when uh, it talks about animals. Mm -hmm. Different anima animals there. Yeah. Let's right. See. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I think, uh, Kiwi, did you have something to say as well? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Well, you think too? Uh, well, mm, I I support that paragraph too, and I because there are so many detailed facts, and for example, or maybe at the same thing, and about the animals and the spider monkeys and 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 so on and more detail, and in this paragraph, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, I agree. I think paragraph two is the better one because, as you said, it does have, it has more specific details about what happened. Whereas paragraph one, it kind of just repeats itself. Like it says, last summer was very exciting. Every day we did something new. Uh, then it says, we did many things we will never forget. Um, um, animals and plants we had never seen before, which is kind of just saying the same thing over and over again. Although, I do actually think that paragraph one is like, it's more pleasant to read. I like the sound of paragraph, I think paragraph one is like more, um, this one has a lot of information, but for me it's like, it seems too much. But, and it, that's just my opinion, but um, paragraph two is the better one from what we're looking at because, as you've all po well, most of you have pointed out, it it has more specific details mm -hmm. and backs up the the topic sentence, which is the first one, um, better. So we've got um, well, if um, Kiwi, if you can just read this, okay. Evaluating sport. Read the following set of the paragraph and answer the questions. Only one paragraph in each set and it develop the main point of with the ad adequate support. Yeah, adequate. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to read through the pairs of paragraphs and then we're going to look at the questions afterwards. So, can. Um, Let's see. Uh, clouds. Uh, 
What's your name? Is it, I'm sure. Me? Is your. Uh, maybe. Who, who's talking? Osama? No, no, no. Not you. The one. The other person. On your. Um, thing, it says like cloud. But I don't. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let me see. Uh, Marcelo? Yeah, yes. yeah. Yep. Do you want to. Can you read the first paragraph for us, please? This one. Uh, it repairs on my car were much more expensive than I bet in this baby. Mm -hmm. when, I saw, when I saw the final build, I was in shock. It was twice. As much I have planned it on, I had paid $395 to get the brakes repaired and noticing $1,000 to get the $100. Under dollars. Yeah. $100 uh, to get the rules I like. Mm -hmm. uh, the engine oil change was $30 and the replacement of the air. Was another $20. Okay, thank you. Um, uh -huh. And uh, Selma, can you read um, paragraph two, please? Okay. The repairs on my car were much more expensive than I had anticipated. The mechanic did a great a good job but I think I was overcharged for everything I never imagined that the final bill would be so high in fact I had to borrow money from my friend to buy it the next time I will go to a different garage okay thank you so thank you. Which, which paragraph do you think provides more specific support? This question, we're just looking for this question here. Which one do you think provides more specific support? The question to everybody? Yeah, to everybody. Well, anybody wants to answer. Yeah, I think um, on the paragraph one. Paragraph one. What do what Nereo? Excuse me. I was trying to get somebody else's attention. Oh, Nella, what do you think? Do you agree? Can you go up? Two, maybe. So we can yes, we can see the the. Paragraph. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. uh, uh, if we talk about facts, maybe paragraph number two, because it's uh, it talks about uh, the final bill, that the fact that he had to borrow money from friend. Um, do you not think these are quite specific facts when it says gives the prices for the components? But it, no. it's, it's the same as uh, let's see, there is like uh, there's a specific detail details about the final bill. But uh, in that's what the question is. The uh, question. Which support. paragraph provides more specific support? For the first uh, sentence, because the first sen sentence is the one that... You mean the first paragraph? The first sentence is the main sentence, so we have to support the main sentence. Yeah. Okay. The repairs. Oh, it could be. If we talk about the repairs, 
They both talk about the. They both have the same first sentence. But which paragraph do you think is um, has more specific support? More specific, the first one because of the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah everybody's agreed with that one then. And look, what four supporting details does the author? Include in the paragraph, and we're looking. At, we've said it's the first paragraph, so I'm going to ask a few of you. So, um, Selma. Uh -huh. Yep. Can you give me an example of one of the specific e examples that are used in the first paragraph? Well, specific supporting details. There's four of them. Oh, sorry, sir, but I lost your screen. Can you see it now? If you can't see it, if you if you click on my picture, you should be able to see it. Of what? Uh. Okay, while we're waiting for it to load for you, uh, Asama? Yes? Yeah, can you give us an example of one of the specific supporting details in the first paragraph? I had to pay 395 to get the brakes repaired. Yeah, that's one example. Example, Selma, can you see it now? Uh, not yet. All right, okay. Um, Kiwi. Yep. Yeah, can you give us an example? Uh, example. Yeah. Um, I think, and one is the cost. And three hundred and ninety five dollars or and one hundred dollars thirty dollars twenty dollars the cost is very detailed yeah yeah that well that's all of them basically isn't it the four specific examples are as you just said the way it puts oh, right. the prices so it says okay. the three hundred and ninety five to get the brakes repaired that's mm -hmm. one one specific example and the oh, one to, oh, right. yeah. Okay. Another hundred to get the wheels aligned. That's an, mm -hmm. another one. The engine oil change was thirty dollars. That's another example. And then the final one is replacement oh, yeah. of the air filter was another twenty dollars. So that's the. They are the f um, four specific supporting details that the author yeah. includes. So we'll move on to the next. This is the set two. Um, got some, is it Cosmo, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Um, can you read this? Can you see the screen? My screen. Yeah. Yeah. Can you yeah. read this first paragraph, please? Yeah, my Tasman two course is very difficult and time. I, I don't see that. Perfectly, <laughs> and time-consuming. The professor doesn't seem to realize that chemistry isn't yep. the only course we're taking. He yep. gives a lot of homework and too much reading. The worst thing is that his lectures are really boring. I'm not interested in chemistry. Right. Chemistry, chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. So I hate reading the textbook. I know I'm not the only student complaining about this course. Okay, thank you. And Kiwi, if you can read paragraph number two. Yes. My chemistry course is very difficult and time consuming. 
And first of all, you know, we are responsible for two labs every week, which means a um, minimum of 10 hours a week in the third round. When matters worse, the professor gives up the, at least three tests on per month. The questions are very tricky, and we have, we have to memorize long, complicated formulas. Finally, the rating load is and also quite heavy, as much as two five pages a night. A twenty-five page pages a night. I often spend all my free time on doing the required reading. Okay. Finished. Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a long one that one, isn't it? <laughs> so Yeah. So, um, Cloud? Right. Another. Right, um, let me see. I've got Z uh, Zin Zinwei? Zhang? All right, gone. No, okay, um, Selma. Yeah, which, um, um, paragraph do you think provides uh, more specific support? Paragraph 2 or paragraph 1? Uh, I think it is uh, paragraph 2. You think it's paragraph 2? Does every, anybody disagree? No. Not everybody agree with it. Uh, okay. The well, I agree with you. So let's see. And uh, what uh, four supporting articles? I was going to get you to give me, well, one each. We'll just go over there. Uh, Onella. One of the four supporting articles that are included. The second one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've agreed it's the second paragraph. But what are some of the supporting uh, details that are included in the second paragraph? We are responsible for two labs every week. Uh, yeah, that's one of them. So two, two labs every week. Um, yes. Yeah, Marcelo, can you tell me another one? And uh, Asama? Yes. Yep, can you give us another example? Okay. Of. of one of the support. Twenty five pages a night. Yeah, this new one. So twenty five pages per night and um the Zhang Z Zin Zin how do you say it? Zin Yu Zhang. No, I can't hear. Okay, and Kiwi. What's another yep. one? Another example, please. Uh, Slightest part round. Pardon? At least three tests per month. Oh, at least 
three tests per month. Yep. And the final one, um, Soma. Can you give us another example? Uh, sorry, sir, but uh, I cannot see again your screen share. You can't see it. Um. <laughs> yes, uh, but uh, I'd like to, but I cannot see your screen You can share see. It's Have uh, on the last picture. If, you on, if you click on, if you, if you click on my picture, does it come up? When I click on your phone. Okay, that's yes, alright. I've, do, uh, I've done that, but uh, every time when I click on your picture, uh -huh. with, uh, on the last picture. Okay, alright, well, hopefully it'll come up later. Anyway, we'll move on from, uh, we'll move on to the next set, so set three. Um, you see, you can't see anything still. Can everybody else see it? Alright. Yes. Yes. All right. It must just be you. Um, yeah. I don't know how you can fix it. So, who wants to read next? Who would like to read next? Oh, this is very long. <laughs> Sir, can I read? Yeah, we'll just do this last set and then we'll move on from there. The actually, do you want? To, are you all happy with deciding which are the yes. which is the better paragraph? Do you think? <laughs> right. We'll move on to the next bit then. Being as it's kind of a bit boring that bit, I suppose. If you've done one, you've done them all, haven't you? Right. So we're going to. Have a go at writing some supporting sentences. So, if you just want to read the example they've done, um, who said they wanted to read? What? Color? Uh, okay. mm. You want us to read? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Yep, go for it. I start right. with the is important. Well, for example. Yeah, if you just read that and then, well, it says, I'm terrible at doing the laundry. So we have to come up with some examples. So if you can read the examples they've put in this for us. Okay. So, May I? Start. Yep. Okay. I forget to separate the colored clothes from the white ones and sometimes end up with gray socks. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I rarely read the cleaning instructions and have green clothes by putting them in the washing machine instead of dry cleaning them. Mm -hmm. And I uh. often my favorite shirts because I leave them in the dryer for too long. Right. Okay, so now we have to come up with some supporting sentences of our own. So, um, Kiwi, if you can just read the first sen the sentence, please. Yes. I love trying... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I love trying and food for food from different countries. Okay, so now we have to come up with some supporting sentences for this. Um, for this. So if you can all have a think of some supporting sentences that we could um, use for the, this. Yeah, come up with your own examples. I've put it in the chat. Can you see the chat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, a sum has got one. So, so a sum has put, I've tried 25 dishes from different countries, which is a good example. So what else can people think of? You can type them in the chat box if you want, or you can tell them to me. Can we say that? And uh, I found that the uh, Chinese food is the most disgusting one. Okay. Do you want to type it as well? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't like Chinese food, though. <laughs> Okay, and uh, Kiwi, do you have an example? Uh, on the screen? Yeah, you can type it or you can just tell us if you want. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Or both. Oh, oh, just a moment, please. Yeah. And Ornella and Marcelo, if you can think of, think of some examples as well. Uh, yeah, I found the Chinese food. But I say, yeah, I didn't like the Chinese food because it was full of spices, and I'm allergic to them. But that kind of contradicts. What is barret? Barret is um, a kind of egg. And ah. the egg, it, egg is and bo egg is boiled, and it near to. Mm, nanny. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> to it's very hard to explain. But I'm a kind of uh, mm -hmm. egg and inside and a baby bird. Ah, aren't they caught? <laughs> yeah, I've seen they're ducks, aren't they? Duck Hello. eggs. Hello. Hi. The, f the eggs of ducks, they use. Egg oh, goes by the yeah. yeah, I've heard of it, but I've never <laughs> tried it. Please try one day, someday. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? Uh, mm, Chicken? Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Just strange. Oh, uh, is it not like anything it else? Oh, maybe Peton and Chinese food. Oh, and do you like it's it? It's a Filipino food. Mm, yeah, I uh, have Filipino food. Yes, you're right. Yeah. It, it like All right. Okay. Yeah, there's some examples. We could have what about like, uh, the yeah. the next one? Like, the next sentence is summer is my favorite season. So. What examples can we come up with this for this one? So I want you all to think of a really um, supporting sentence. So Marcelo and Onella as well. Uh, summer is my favorite thing because so summer. Do you want to write it as a whole sentence? So I've done that. Oh, what about the do skating one? Uh, oh, I. Uh, uh. I love summer. Uh. I love summer season uh, because it's when I go to uh, when I go to the beach, do skating on the uh, uh, It's not skating; it's uh, surfing. Surfing, yeah. Uh, surfing, yeah. 
when I do surfing and when I uh, also uh, I forgot the yeah, so yeah, it's a good example. Uh, Onella, yeah. do you want to tell us yours then? Sorry. Do you want to tell us your example? I wear less clothes. I sunbathe. I go to the beach. Uh, Maybe. So, yeah. See, so like the summer because you can wear less clothes and go to the beach. Yeah, that's a good example. Yeah, and uh, Kiwi, yours? Yep. Yeah, yours is, I can climb the high mountains which are too dangerous to climb in the winter. Oh, uh, yes. So, and I play for in the summer. Yeah. How, whereabouts in Japan do you live? Oh, northern part of Japan. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, southern part of Japan. But I like on the mountain climbing. Uh, how does it get hot there in the summer? Oh or yes, very, very hot. What sort of temperature? And uh, thirty-five degrees. Oh, that is quite hot. And mm. what about um, in the winter? Does it get cold or? Oh, uh, not so cold. Yeah, it's very comfortable to spend the winter time here. <laughs> Summer, you say it's not that hot. Yes, because here we have between uh, 45, 43, it can be also 50. <laughs> 50? <And we> are, <laughs> yes, so if you come here, you will absolutely die. Oh my gosh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> That's very hot. Yes, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, but we are adjusting and. Uh, it's good to to have uh, 50 degrees so that uh, we can swim uh, on a hotter water, <laughs> on hot mm. water. Sorry. Yeah, it's the sea hot yes. when you go in the sea. Yes. Oh, oh. And Onella, where are you from? Argentina. Argentina. Which mm. part? Buenos Aires. Uh, oh. So it gets quite cold there then in the winter. Here it is 40, yes, it comes up to 40. Yeah, oh. but not very often. No, not very often. Now we are on the approximately uh, 30. 30. Nice 30. Mm. But mm. these days are about 30 degrees. All right, and is, is it summer actually, what is your favorite season? Everybody, is it summer or do you prefer other ones? Winter. 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 Everybody oh. likes winter. Yeah. I like winter. <laughs> do you, Do you even have winter? Um, so no, th not that. Not uh, that cold of winter, you know. We have winter and it's so cold, and also we have snow. You have snow. Yeah. <laughs> And the summer is very hot, and the winter is very cold. Really? Ah, not that cold. It's not like the uh, it's not like Russia, but uh, it's good. Mm. Yes, and you have also have snow, a lot of snow, and we do skating, uh, skiing. Sorry. Oh. Yes. <laughs> well, wh which city did you say you live in? Jeddah. Sorry. Did you say you live in Jeddah? Or a different city. Uh, so are you talking? In a different yeah, country, Algeria. Ah, uh, I said Algeria. Oh, I thought you said you lived in Saudi. No, so uh, Saudi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm confusing you with somebody else. We are neighbors, in fact. Yeah, uh, yeah Tunisia and Algeria. Oh. oh. Yes. Ah, right, I see. Algeria, it's not Nigeria. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's with a. They always said say to us that uh, Algeria is the same as Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria is a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, especially the American one. All <laughs> uh, right. Well. Mm -hmm. 
Where are you from? Algeria. Uh, I've uh, written that on the surface. The, the, uh, Algeria. Algeria, and, yeah. Where are you from? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, ah, Algeria. It sounds very English. No, I'm not from Algeria, no. Or Nigeria. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I'm from the UK. Well, I was born there. I yeah. love the way you speak. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are you a Manchester United fan? I knew you were from there. Because you are so close. What team because do you support? Um, I don't. Well, football. Yes. I don't like football in the UK. I think football is. Wow. <laughs> I've only liked football since I moved to like South America. You're English and you don't like football. Yeah, well, I'm not really English, but I was just born there. My family's not from there. Oh. Um. I think I think it's a bit of a boring sport, though. Really. Football. Do you like football? Yes, I'm a Man United fan. Man United. Manchester United. Why? Uh, why? Because <laughs> since I was a kid, you know. Uh, just because they win a lot. No, because uh, <laughs> they used to have David Beckham, and they used to like him when I was a kid. And then uh, it stuck uh, up on me, you know. And then I become a fan growing up. Ah, uh, right. I see. I think um, apparently. M m Man United has more supporters in China than they do in the UK. Yes, China and Malaysia and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite funny. Is um, is po football popular in Tunisia? Like actually yes. playing it? Yes, we play it. We watch it. Also in Algeria, all of Africa loves. Now here we watch here we watch Chelsea and uh, Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona. Uh, what about South American football? Do you watch South American football there? Like uh, the I teams from uh, Sao Paulo? No, we don't. Like do Corinthians? Or so. No. No, here 50% of the population loves Barcelona and the other 50% loves Real Madrid. So. Uh, oh. they are, yes, they are attracted to the European uh, culture. More than the, uh, the the U.S. culture, I mean the American American culture. Mm. I suppose it's quite. Is there a lot of um, contact with like France still, or not? Because Algeria used to be a French like colony, didn't it, or something? Yes, both of us. Yeah. Both of them. I yes. you, most of Algeria. yeah, and uh, Morocco as well, didn't it? Or, yes, yeah, and Morocco. Morocco. Yeah. Is there much Egypt, Egypt as well? Mm, yes, no, Egypt only. F for sure. only for a short part of time. Because they don't the speak Napoleon French, part. do they? Yes, uh, they were colonized by England, but uh, in the Napoleon era, era they Napoleon colonized them. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ah, right, but not for a long time. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Is the French, is it the same as in France? Or are there yeah. a lot of different words? Our French? No, yeah. There is no difference. Here we speak more French than we speak Arabic. We use more French words than uh, we use our colloquial language. Yes, in Algeria, but not in Tunisia. Yes, in, yes, in Algeria, of course, I speak in my country. <laughs> are there I'm many. <laughs> uh, are there many Arabic? words like in the French that you speak or many French words in the Arabic you speak or not? Yes, yes a lot of words like uh, we, uh, and when someone ex uh, asks us uh, to explain for him in, an, uh, in Arabic we don't yeah. find the right word because uh, we know it only in French. Algeria was colonized for a long time that's why. Despite wow. that, they fought really hard, you know. They gave one million uh, victims. And half. <laughs> and half million. Oh. Okay, yeah. well, do we have any questions about what we did this lesson? 
Hmm. No. Not everybody happy with it. We've got uh, Osama, are you still there? Yes. Yeah, are you happy with what we went, covered the, this lesson? Yes, the support uh, is pretty good. Yeah, I, I think it's. Now, when there is more support, you know. Yeah, I think it's fairly straightforward what we did this lesson. So, yes. the, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for coming. We have a few more minutes. So, um, if you like this class and you want to come to more of my classes, this is the. Um, like I send all the invites to my classes from here, so you can get it from there. And uh, Asama, what what was yes. it you I was talking to? You were talking about the elections that they're having in uh, Egypt. Were you talking about that the other day with me, or was that somebody else? Because there's two like. No, I think you were up. talking with another guy from Tunisia, but I, I but I. Yes, yeah. but I said something about it. Yeah, because I don't know if we had uh, a revolution. Yeah, but I mean, there's a, isn't there a vote coming up for the president and also for a change in their constitution? Uh, yes, we are having a new constitution in Tunisia. And what do you think of that? Uh, well, you can say it's a good thing, but the old constitution, if it is applied properly, it will do its work, you know. Problem that the ex-president didn't apply the rules. You know. Yeah. Is stolen and tortured. Is Tunisia much different now after they had the revolution? The only thing that is different is the freedom of speech. Like, what it is better? Be, yes, it is way better. Yeah. Before, if you say something about the president, you know, coffee or something, mm -hmm. you get caught and you get tortured and you get uh, expelled from the college. Yeah. You, you are denied from your right of work mm -hmm. for life, you know. But now you can just say what you want or but it's now just you can, free. You can mock the president, you can mock the prime minister. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's free. It's like in any other place. But the struggle now is in economics. And yeah. And do you think that's because of the revolution, or just it would have happened anyway? The economic situation. No, it it would have happened anyway because 